Hey beauties, happy Tuesday. I am calling you, calling in today from uh, beautiful Lake Arrowhead, California in this amazing cabin that I'm uh, kind of nestling into my quarantine and hope you guys are all enjoying your quarantine time as well <laughs> as we're joining into this amazing, amazing new time frame of life. And uh, hi babes, hi guys, so good to see all you. Um, yeah, so I wanted to really just kind of come on here because there's something really deep that is coming through me in regards to what this time really gets to be for each of us. And I feel like, you know, I, for me myself, I, I had been kind of disassociated from all of the crazy pandemonium that was going on, at least in the United States for a while from being in Bali. But now that I'm back here in the United States, I was really a little bit nervous about coming back into this space and seeing how, how are people acting? How are people feeling? You know, what is the consensus, consensus, consensus of just general energy and feeling right now? But coming back here, it's been really beautiful to see that it seems like the energy and the, the, the panic that had been happening for the last few weeks is starting to dissipate. And something really beautiful is coming into that space in between. And that space that's opening up right now is just, it feels like this kind of just, ah, right? It's just like, it's like a deep breath that has just been kind of opened up from this place of panic. So I feel like we're, as a collective, we're moving through these feelings. We're slashing through these fears. I've talked a lot about slaying fears and moving through resistance. And now we're just in this place of just openness, right? Openness and taking a big deep breath and just suspension. And there's something really, really, really beautiful about this space and time right now because really what this, what is happening is the world as a whole, as we know it, is slowing down. It's truly just everything. Stores are closing, people are staying inside, people are not moving around and hustle bustling in their days. And it's creating this spaciousness that we haven't had before. And in that spaciousness, this is when we really get the time to rediscover ourselves. In a sense, the entire world is opening up and slowing down so that you get a chance to rediscover yourself. How beautiful is that? And I'm seeing likes and waves and things like that. I'm so glad to hear that. This is such an important, powerful time right now. And I know that it can still feel like there's a lot of like uncertainty and unknowing and that will probably be our, our kind of reality for a little while, but that does not mean that you need to be feeling ungrounded. This is a time where you get to really sink into the groundedness of who you are, even though the world outside of you feels uncertain. And that's where you really take back your power. So in this time right now where the world is um, like continuing to just shed layers. This is what's happening is like layers are being shed. People are truly letting go and surrendering from everything that they thought that they had control over and just being left in this space of openness. And it's like a big open blank canvas, right? Of your life of, wow, how do I really want to choose to step forward in these moments? And some people are really choosing to step forward and kind of recreate themselves in beautiful ways. And other people are noticing that there are things that maybe have been lingering under the surface that they have not really dealt with. And sometimes those can come through and come out in actions and words and ways of being. So if you are just in this place of feeling in suspension, feeling floating, feeling lost, feeling uncertain, I just want to reassure you, the world is slowing down so that you can rediscover yourself. And what does that mean to really rediscover yourself? What that means is actually giving yourself the time and the space to really go within and explore anything that may not be feeling in alignment with your highest self. And when we really get to the root of that and go deeper within our subconscious, what we find is we can actually end up like bringing up to the surface limiting beliefs, limiting stories, limiting fears that have been subconsciously operating our entire programming in the way that we show up in the world. But when we actually bring it to the surface, we get a chance for the first time for some of us to be able to actually to explore and see, are these things really serving me? Are these things really helping me to get to where I want to go? Or are these things limiting me and holding me back from that highest potential? And that is the beautiful work that I love to support women with, is really getting that chance to do what I call a full soul cleanse, a soul rinse, 
where we go through and we just literally like shine flashlights in the dark spaces of your soul, give yourself a, a rinse from the inside out and really bring to the surface anything that has been blocked or just feeling stagnant or feeling dark or there have been energy leaks that have been kind of dissipating out of your yourself and start to really plug up your channel so that you can become the highest, purest essence of who you really are. And that is the probably the best gift I think you could ever give yourself, is really giving yourself that time to go within yourself and feel out and cleanse and clear out any stagnations, any distortions in your field so that you can really be that best self. So along with going into your best self, it's like, okay, well fine, that all sounds really cool, but why? Why do I need to do this, right? And the reason for being able to really step into your highest self, besides the fact that we are all here on this soul journey of expansion and evolution, is that when we get to step into our highest self, we get to shift the entire outcome of the way that the world responds to us and the way that people respond to us. And if you've been following me for a while and you're a part of my world of relationships, the way men respond to us, right? So more likely than not, there are some ways that you've been operating or some beliefs that you've been having or some feelings that have been lurking below the surface about who you are or what you feel you deserve or the types of men that you've been attracting up until now. And when you start to shift out of those operating ways and operating patterns and ways of being and shifting into a higher version, higher essence of who you are, a more clicked in, higher alignment with your highest self, you start attracting relationships on an entirely different level. Truly. It's like, I like to think about it like vibration, right? If you are in this space down here and you find yourself attracting similar types of men that are also kind of down here in this space, maybe you are feeling like you're attracting men that are really hot and cold, that are kind of coming in and out, and not really giving you what you really truly feel you need. Or maybe you're feeling like all the men you've ever dated in the past have just been narcissistic and just completely you know, give you the bottom of the barrel and, and scraps, right? Then what that means is there's an opportunity for you to really explore within yourself, what areas of myself find me to be attracting these types of men, right? Because more times than not, there's something in your essence that is actually finding that to be a congruent match in energy vibrations. But as you continue to start to rediscover your own self and start to really find what does it mean to me to click into my highest alignment with my highest self, you really start to truly raise your energy vibration and raise your, your frequency of how you show up for the world. And as you start shifting your frequency, the types of caliber of men that you attract will completely shift as well. It's just, it's the law of attraction, it's the law of physics, it's just, this is how it has to go. So that's what I really want to encourage you to think about today is how are you showing up right now in your relationships? And do you feel like there are holes, right? Holes in your sphere of being a complete whole version of who you are. Are there any insecurities? Are there any fears? Are there any limiting doubts or patterns that you've been noticing that are just keeping you limited and keeping you feeling stuck and blocked? And this is really an opportunity for you to start to discover and explore what is it that is within me that maybe needs to be rediscovered. And as I take this time, as this world slows down, and we all just take a big collective breath to just relax for a moment, what can you do to start really going deeper into exploring that for yourself so that you really can start to raise your vibration? I really do feel like 2020 obviously is, it's gotten off to a rocky start, but it is the chance for us as a collective to really reignite and shift out of the way of the old earth, of how we've been operating in our old earth and really step forward into creating a new world earth that we want to live in. There is no better time than right now to be really doing this kind of work with yourself. So I'm seeing tons of likes, tons of waves, tons of things. So I'm super happy to see you all on here. Um, and I want you to know like this is, this is deep work, right? It's deep work that is so extremely satisfying when you do it. But I know for a lot of you too, it's like, okay, well, yeah, I'm so bought into this and I so want to be my highest self, but like, where do I even start with that? How do I even get going on this? Like, this is a, it's a whole world of kind of the, the unseen.
right? Everything I talk about is very like theoretical and it's like very conceptual, it's very metaphysical, but it is so energetic. And it's frustrating, I know, being the rational-minded, logical thinkers that we are and we can tend to be, it's hard to just be like, okay, well, just give me action steps, right? Like, tell me what to do and I'll do it. But I can't just sit here and meditate and just like shift out of all this stuff. And that's where I really want to let you know too, like, this is what I do. Like, this is what I facilitate and support women in is really awakening to their soul, awakening to that deeper connection within their heart so that they can really become that radiant glowing light of love, just both for themselves and for the world and for their relationships. So if this is something that you're feeling like maybe you want to explore deeper and you'd like some support on that, definitely send me a message um, and DM me on here because I would really, really love to meet you and kind of explore this deeper and talk through this with you because it's just, it's so rewarding when you really do start to have these breakthroughs. And I see this time and time again with women that I talk to where they'll come to me and they'll say, Teal, you know, like there's this block and I just cannot move through this. And I feel like, you know, it's just been like ruining everything up until now, right? Or they'll come to me and say, Teal, like I feel like I've just lost my motivation. I've lost my will. I've lost my fire inside of my soul. Right? It's just dwindling and I just feel rudderless, like I'm on this ocean with no rudder and no direction and I don't know where to go. And I completely feel you if you've been feeling this way. But what really needs to happen in this moment is just a chance for you to recognize that this is a call for you to step forward into doing more exploration within yourself. It means that something energetically is not clicked into place and not in your highest alignment. And so it's keeping you in this place of like ugh, ickiness and weirdness. So just really ch check in with your, with your heart, check in with yourself and just really feel into it. You know, is there a place where I'm feeling just kind of, uh, and if that's the case, then that is really an indicator that there's something out of alignment in your soul. And I've, I referred to myself sometimes like uh, in, a, in a past post that like I am the chiropractor for your soul. And that's really, really how I see this. It's like I have been able to create this beautiful container to support women in coming forth and being able to just like just click their souls back into alignment and connect back into that universal wellspring of love and light and joy and just clear through all the layers of mud and just blocks that have been keeping them from that light within their heart. So that's what I want to offer to you, my dear, is like, please reach out if this is something that you're feeling like you want to do this work because now is, like I said, now is like the most ultimate time. We have, we have so much extra space. We have this time to be in quarantine. It's really the time to go within yourself and start really doing this deeper reflection work and decide Am I happy with where I'm at or do I really want, has there, has there been there been something that I really, really have been wanting, but I've never given myself the time to really go into it and explore it. And maybe this is the time to start exploring it. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about this at all, like I said, just message me and I'm going to continue to just be shining light and speaking on these concepts and encouraging you that I am here and ready to support you when that time comes for you. So Hope you have a beautiful day. Mwah.